Hello, welcome back again to my channel. It's your friend Robert. I'm super excited to bring you some amazing Haitian food. And actually, today I'll be hanging out with my friend Johannes. Man, you gotta watch this video. You gotta check him out on his YouTube channel, actually. Uh, so, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Let's enjoy some amazing Haitian food. Man, we're super excited. Johannes can explain uh, a little bit more about this dish. Yeah, definitely. So this dish is a Haitian breakfast and it's like grits. So like if you think about like African-American grits, it's like grits. I really don't know exactly like uh, what this part is. Yeah. But I'm very excited to learn. Okay, you ready for this, brother? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's dig in. Let's go for the grits just first. All right. So, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. What? Wow. I didn't expect that. You can see the, the steam you can see coming the out of it. Steam. Right. The steam is, it, but it's hot too. It's yeah. like a spice to it. You exactly. Know? Yeah, so I feel like maybe it might have some sort of uh, black pepper. Yeah, maybe black pepper. Or yeah. maybe even a pepper. Yeah, in well, yeah exactly. Or just like the habanero. Who knows? Mm. Yeah, it has that like, that nice savory taste. Mm -hmm. And then right at the end, it has like that spice. That's pretty dope. Mm. I love it. I love it too. Mm. What is this hard thing? We gotta figure out what this hard thing is, Jeff. <laughs> Actually, you know when you make um, rice? Oh yeah, like the hard part at the bottom. Exactly, on the bottom. This is what it is. See, it is part of the grits. Oh, let's let's try and see how it tastes. Let's have some of this hard, hard Asian grits. Mm, mm, mm. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it because it gives a little texture, like a harder texture. Wow. Exactly, and it does have this uh, sort of uh, smoky aroma, right? Yeah, yeah. And also, it tastes a little bit like burnt rice. It does, it does. It is a cornmeal, and this is your yellow cornmeal, not like your white exactly. cornmeal. Exactly. Right. So, and I think that might be the difference between like, like African American grits and Haitian, is that ours is white, mm -hmm. and this is yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I, I, distinction of the color. Yeah, the distinction of color. Yeah. Yeah. I like this version better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh again. Did you say that? This did is you just say a, that? This is just, <laughs> this is just a personal preference, okay. right? Okay. I, yeah. I'll, I'll act like you didn't just yeah. say that. <laughs> you know, the thing is, the reason why I think this is my favorite, mm -hmm. is because it's not bland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that buttery yeah. flavor. The spice. The spicy. Yeah. And then, of course, you do have this, um, you know, burned yep. portion of it too. Yep. That makes it very, very flavorful and very distinctive. I'm going to mix a little bit of, is this soup or black beans? Look. Actually, it looks like it's, it looks um, like black bean soup. A, yeah, exactly, like a black bean stew. I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of black bean soup on it. I feel like I'm eating a rice. If you go to a Jamaican restaurant and stuff, you order like, you know, rice and peas. Yep. I'm getting that vibe. The, the strong flavor of the black bean, um, you know, complements the grits. Yep. Yep. And, um, you know, it makes this dish so awesome. A Haitian dish. Okay, so beef and a little bit of some vegetables in there. Yep. I think you can see a big chunk of carrot right there. It looks, it looks pretty cool. It actually does. But, it's sort but, of but looks... I think yours is a, it's the same version, but meatless. And so I have that, but I like it too because it's a multiple amount of different vegetables, but it's like a stew. I'm actually very excited to try this. Are right, you ready? Yes, sir. You're my brother, so we always try it together, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it, brother. Cheers. Cheers. Amazing. That's one word. Yeah, yeah, one word is a mess. How do Haitian people actually cook this good and how, how do they do this? Wow, never expected that. All right. Mm. Savory, sweet. Mm -hmm. I think the sweetness is coming from the carrots. Yep. You do have carrots there too. I do. And I think a little bit of potatoes. Mm. Um, 
I can also taste some uh, grit leaf. Mm. I'm not so sure what kind of leaf that is, mm. um, but um, it tastes so, 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 so good. The interesting thing about this, which I have to agree with you, right, is that because there's different flavor profiles, right? There's like a savory profile. Then there's also like this little bit of sweetness with the carrot. Exactly. It just hits you like, bam. <laughs> Who's that chef? He's like, bam, he throws the salt, right? Right. That's how that carrot hits you. I forget what his name is. But also you have a little bit of like this firmness, but also like wateriness, which is a stew, right? Yep. Which is a stew. It is, it is a stew. <laughs> I've just literally explained the stew. You know I love it. No, you explain <laughs> it really well, actually. <laughs> Curious to see how beef, piece of beef tastes. Oh, you didn't try the beef yet? No, not yet. Not okay. yet. Big chunk of beef right here. So. Oh. Mm. I bet that beef is very savory, and because that's a savory dish. Mm. Think about if you woke up every day and you could eat this when it was cold. Mm. It's like a cold dish. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Excellent. I know it's good because you can barely talk. <laughs> my mouth is so full right now. But I love the beef. It's a little bit medium. I feel like it's medium tender. Okay. But I like the experience of chewing, right? So it's a little firm. Exactly. It's a little, it's a little bit firm. Very tasty too. Mm, 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 mm. This reminds me of like, um, what am I looking at? Like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, a beef stew in a way? Mm -hmm. Like, sort of like a beef stew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So, this can 100% pass for a beef stew. Yeah. Um, if you do have your, you know, rice on the side, you can go with it. And actually, that takes us to one more exploration here. Uh, oh, Carolina. You're you not going to. You're not, oh, yeah. You got gotcha. to. They put some. Uh, I, I have dish. to watch this. Yeah, you gotta put some of these dishes right oh, there on okay, the bread. Me too, me too. Yeah, you got to. Me too. Okay. So, Korea's right on top. Invented I like, by... I like that. By, by Johannes and, and Robert right yeah, here. Exactly. So, if... if yeah, you, you gotta put some beans there too, man. Oh, beans too. Exactly, right, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I feel Mix like this up. is a complicated dish. No, this is gonna be great. This is a new Haitian dish we're creating. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Whoa. That's even better. Wow. You're, hold on, let's do this one more time. Just one more time. Okay. I have something to say about this. I have something really a lot to I, say about I can, this. I can't wait to hear that out. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Combination that we just created is that you have the spicy grits, Haitian grits. Surprisingly enough, with the vegetables in the black beans, mm -hmm. it cuts through that spice. Right. But it's also a little bit more spicy. Just a little bit more spicy. Like in a way that right now, like my inside is sort of like, I I'm a mini dragon. <laughs> like if I open my mouth right now, like a little fire would come out, just a little bit, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> But overall, Johannes, man, I really appreciate you for bringing me here. Definitely. I've really enjoyed the Haitian breakfast, the combination of the grits, the yellow corn grits, and of course, the black beans paired with this um, stew dish uh, with some legumes. With some legumes. And uh, of course, some beef. Exactly. It's just been an amazing experience this year. It is it's amazing. I appreciate it. And always, I appreciate you for having me on your channel. Um, Every day, all day, brother. If you guys, you need to subscribe. That's all I'm going to say. I'm lost for words. Subscribe and make sure you like. It, you got to subscribe to Johannes' channel, too. He's my mentor. He's my big brother. Thank you so much. You know, he always shares some good feedback and advice. So, very thankful to Johannes, and I really appreciate him inviting me to his channel as well. Of course, of course. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Of course. Thank well, you. so until next time, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We'll leave the address of this spot yep. uh, on the description box. Um, the food, it's excellent, and the ingredients too are just like fun. Top notch. Absolutely. Top notch. Thank you so much, brother, for letting me be on your channel again. Thank you again.